Hey folks, I'm Sirius JG, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect Andromeda. You missed Kolo going Ryder, and that's about it. So we're heading to the Nexus to confront Addison, and um, while we're there, we'll probably do some other. Um... It was shown as a Nexus mission, so I shouldn't be shocked that it's going to wrap up on the Nexus. But um, this is kind of where we need to go to finish our. Um... Uh, to get the next main plot thing going, we might be able to trigger some new systems to appear without actually having to visit and begin the next mission. Again, though, I don't know what at what point it will suddenly be uh, a, a ticking clock before game, you know, to affect the ending. Because I think this there will be multiple ways to end this, I'm sure. Or multiple endings, we can get a better or worse ending. Things like skipping certain missions, not getting the... Um, not finding the other Pathfinders, I know, has a big negative impact on your ending. Um, even if they barely seem to register as characters. Journey to Meridian, task, comparatively alien task, path of a hero. We haven't visited our sister in forever. Come apparent that that is just not something that's going to be a big part of the game as your other sibling. Or you're not your other sibling, your sibling. Just not going to be a big thing. <laughs> can't believe you said that Krogan deal struck Krogan to return to the Nexus Mortal Holds Colony Embassy established Spender caught Turian Arc recovered Solarian Arc located Turian Arc has been found, but the Turian Pathfinder was reportedly killed, trapping the Arc Pathfinder former Spectre. But its risk is now expected to assume the role. Should I know who you are? Aki, Kerry's producer. Oh. I'm the one making you look stunning for the documentary. I already look stunning. There's a hitch. Kerry's been arrested for conspiracy. Oh, to damn it, Tan. Conflict. You're such an asshole. She's in a cell at the militia headquarters. Any chance you could stop by? A visit from you might shake things up. Remember, Kerry's down in the militia cell. Yeah, Tan really is kind of an asshole, isn't he? Did somebody just go, hello? Well, we gotta confront Addison. We gotta get her all pissed off at us, then start trying to get political prisoners released. Sounds like a plan. You got anything to say about my political prisoner situation here? We're getting the Solarian Arc settled in now. That's an entire wave of arcs accounted for thanks to you. Plus outposts and... Now how do you find time for all this? Because I'm amazing. Need some efficiency tips? No, it's freaking amazing. It helps that I'm incredibly good at my job. And I dress like a douchebag. There's a queue of people waiting to toast your health. Just so you know, our intel says the Archon's pissed. I'd warn your team. Yeah, arrested journalist. That's there's an Asari documentarian in your cells. Gary Tavessa. Yes, word came down that her series was frightening people. We can't afford more unrest. But I'm sorry, Ryder, but it was this or exile. At least this way she's safe. Now, anything else? Nothing. That's fine. Goodbye. Bye, Kandros.
Duty calls. Duty. You and me both, Pathfinder. My duty to arrest innocent civilians for trying to spread the truth. It's fake news! She was spreading fake news! I'm sorry, Lana. They're just trying to boost their morale. Hey, it's fake Kandros. Oh, oh, he's hey, my Lana. Omni tool to talk to her? They arrested you over the documentary. Guess I tweaked the lion's tail too hard. You did nothing wrong. You had to tell the truth, whatever the cost. You did what was right. You know, they've had other people in the cells. Rioters, people crying and scared. Me and my truth did that to them. Can't give up. So you're just going to sit there? This is how your work ends? Violently escape no, from prison. Hell no. Maybe I could use this. Thanks for coming, Ryder. I I'll send word if anything changes. I guess, uh, I could have initiated a jailbreak there. I may have ended your life through vampiric meats. <laughs> Sorry, it's a reference to a specific spontaneous nation. I want to see what happens if I suggest a jailbreak. I'm thinking it's just a comical suggestion that doesn't actually happen, but... Press circle to evade, quickly evade danger, even while airborne. Oh, hey, Ryder. Hakim said they arrested you over the dock. Guess I tweaked the lion's tail too hard. A crowbar, some gum, a nudge from Sam, and I could get you out. Oh, she's just joking. Trust me, this is safer than exile. You know, they've had other people. Me uh -huh. and my truth did that. So it is just zany dialogue, but uh, I'm going to load the manual save anyway, just, you know, for the hell of it. Massive damage and force. That's what I keep in my pants. Sorry. All right, um, that was silly. Let's go to Addison's elevated office and tell her that she's a bitch. Not for the first time. I know why you're here. Yale told me to expect a visit. I hoped this slander wouldn't come to light, but Helios has a habit of dashing our hopes. Have the three sabers been eliminated, Pathfinder? Yes. Now, I see, I don't get why this is such a big deal, other than the fact that they're going around arresting people for bad reasons. Otherwise, you just be like, yeah, they could acknowledge that they hired some people who went rogue on them. Why, did they, why does that have to be hidden? I dealt with them. Then the problem's solved. As far as everyone's concerned, the three sabers acted on their own. Mm -hmm. But they didn't, did they? Well, they did. It's just, you gave them weapons. Hey, Ryder. Who the hell's this? Sid started the investigation. She's her own person, game. This investigation started with Sid's instincts. I applaud good instincts, but not in this case. So I don't applaud them. So I was right, wasn't I? Someone on the Nexus was helping the three sabers. You just yes, wander right into the conversation. Huh? Authorized the course of action that cost lives, but like I said, it's over. You have to tell people. If we made a mistake, we have to own it, right? Oh, shut Who up. Who does that serve? It could damage relations with the Angara, spark another uprising. It would be lying. Ryder, if you hide this, what else will you let them hide? Well, they are arresting We're not journalists. Taking tips on diplomacy from a teenager. Is she a teenager? With all due respect, Director, Sid's right. Transparency is important for building trust. People need to know they can trust us, even when we screw up. Well, not I'll when I screw up. Hear about this. Arrest her. Pathfinder, you're making a mistake. Arrest him. Maybe. But at least I'm willing to acknowledge it. Arrest everyone. <laughs> And then she moonwalks back to her position. Yes, Pathfinder? Dr. Kennedy and Joe. Any word from Dr. Kennedy now she's on Prodromos? She's as difficult as she always was, which is how it should be. Andromeda isn't supposed to change everything. But I still hate you. You two seem very different. I met Jean at a university bar. She was talking libertarian and drinking vodka slimes. I instantly hated her. An hour later, we were back-to-back -back fighting half a lacrosse team. 
and somehow she hadn't started it. I bet there's someone like that on your ship. They drive you crazy, but for some reason, you just click. Oh shit, yeah. I don't think so. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Some people just, yeah. Peepee and I almost <laughs> fucked. Life is so safe without those kinds of people. Some might say better, but they're not in the initiative. Well, anyway, sorry I exposed your crimes. Bye. Pathfinder. Does she call us Pathfinder yet? I don't remember. Probably could have just waited a quarter of a second to find out, but. Go talk to Director Tan now that we found the last of the. Oh, Hello again. this triggers the main story. They're waiting for you. Careful. Of course you approve. Ryder saved your people. Well, he saved, our, saved people. our people. It doesn't matter if they were Salarians. They were citizens of the initiative. Yep. But it doesn't hurt if there's a few less Krogan around. Oh, come on. <clears throat> the Pathfinder. Ryder, we were discussing how things ended with the Archon. I'm sorry about the Krogan. Kesh, it's true I had to leave some Krogan behind. I'm sorry about that. You've already done your part for us. That's more than I can say for others. They're just douchey. And I have to question what we gained provoking the Archon like Hey, this. where's the other Pathfinder? They had a map showing the location of Meridian. And yeah, we now also we saved the frickin' and a short Solarians. Get there. It's the control center for the terraforming network. If we get that working, all our problems are solved. Well, Based most of them. Based on what data? This is all alien science. Alien science the sucks. The on Aya suggests that Meridian is the key. While I appreciate what you've done for our strike teams, we're not equipped for a war with the cat. They'll be defending Meridian with everything they've got. The fight's coming anyway. If we do nothing, I guarantee there's a fight coming. The Archon's already studying how to exalt us. It's not pretty. Still, it's better to focus on the outposts. If the cat attack, at least our people won't be in one place. Then there's this Sam of yours. We took a chance letting AI get involved. Mm -hmm. Frankly, I'm uncomfortable with just how involved it's become. It I'm blows up Ryder's writer, brain to protest. But I can't support your plan. Then I will. Yeah, bitch. And so will I. Just right, motherfucker. I agree. Well, I agree that they will support his plan. I applaud the gesture, but you answer to me. I hope you understand. I hear you are feeling threatened. We hear you loud and clear. Good. That will be all. He is a jerk. Why am I surprised? I don't exactly have a plan B. There may be a way. Pathfinder, apologies. There was an urgent message for you. They said your sister is awake. What? Go. We'll talk later in the tech lab. I have a feeling I wasn't supposed to spot. Like, maybe. Yeah, this really does start to feel now like there's a time limit. Because he said there was a small window. But yeah, shit's going down now. I guess I should have been more confrontational with the uh, tan, but Sarah. Instead, we could not. We could refuse to hug her. What the hell is that about? Man, it's good to finally see you. It's good to see anything. I was starting to think I'd never wake up. He was touch and go. She died. Well, I sure missed having you around. We've hit a few rough patches along the way. I'm sorry I wasn't there when Dad died. There's nothing you might have saved him. I wasn't even sure I should tell you. I'm glad oh, you did. Apparently, I'm not connected Give to the network. Time to let it sink in. I'll miss Our you. lack of network connection. I also know he'd be the first to say, get over it, get on with it already. Oh, there's been plenty of that. So I hear, Mr. Pathfinder. Mr. President. Choice. From the sounds of it, you're going to need all the help you can get. Careful. No way I think I'm just talking about how she's had, like, no part in the story. Needs a chance to heal. As who? The Pathfinder. The Pathfinder, that's who. Time to rest up. That's an order, Specialist Rider. Oh, yes, sir. Pathfinder, sir. Oh, oh who are we kidding? <laughs> I saw you eat your own boogers when you were six. 
If you two want to catch up some more, that's fine, but no getting out of bed. And no eating boogers. Ryder, this is Pathfinder Ricks. We have some ideas about Meridian. Oh. Come by the tech lab as soon as possible. Will do. I guess that's... Alright, so at least I know now what we need to do to, to advance our uh, personal... Uh, Ryder's Family Speakers thing. Because, yeah, that would make... Ryder's Family Speakers... It would make sense that like your sister waking up would be connected with that quest. Hey. You're probably wondering how things have been going. Not really. Yeah, feeling a little out of it. I know you're Pathfinder, but not much else. Did they make you president of the universe, too? Just of this cluster. Oh, shoot, my timer's dead. Whatever killed my network connection killed that, too, so... Oh, never mind. It's only been dead for a couple seconds. Uh, huh. Interesting. Sorry, folks. I know this isn't super exciting. I'm trying to figure out what the hell's going on with my, uh... Network seems to be fine. I guess I just need to, like, actually pay attention to... Uh, the clock here. I got about 15 minutes left for this video, roughly. All right. Election is tomorrow. Let someone else do it. Well, the big vote is tomorrow, and I'm here to make sure every comatose patient has their say. Vote rider. Ha ha. Ha ha. So what have you really been up to? Well, oh, sex and up Cora. We found an alien terraforming network that spans the cluster. We're going to reactivate it at some place called Meridian. Wow. That all? Can't run. Nope. There's also a race of aliens called Ket that wants to turn all of us into them. And their leader, a guy named Archon, wants me dead. He's the Archon, man. Uh, it's a right. Maybe taking a long nap wasn't so bad. Do you miss the Milky Way? She just woke up! Dad was keeping secrets. You should know. Dad was keeping some secrets from us. How do you mean? First off... Sam's a lot smarter than he let on. Also, his connection to Dad, and now me, is way more powerful than the other Sam's. I never knew that. What was Dad up to? See, his memories is crazy. Dad encrypted memories in Sam. I've started unlocking them. What were they? You, me, everybody. You everybody. In the hospital, the day she passed away. And at that reunion dinner, she twisted our arms out. Right. Awkward. And something else. Dad meeting with a benefactor back in the Milky Way. Some initiative power broker I'd never heard of. Oh, yeah, the elusive man. I know yeah. about that. Weird. Yeah. Still trying to figure out what it all means. Do you miss the Milky Way? Feeling homesick at all? Well, all I've seen so far is this med bay. We could still be on Earth for all I know. But, yeah, we are here. Let's we check. Stasis, I was missing my life, or at least the idea of it. What part? Which part do you miss most? Looking for Prothean artifacts. My team was a special exoarchaeology unit. You didn't know that, did you? You know nothing about me. The Alliance. My job, as in they paid me to do it, was to help dig up more artifacts and learn whatever we could from them. If things hadn't gone sour, it would have been a great life. What happened? What went wrong? What was wrong with how things really were? Well, Mom was gone. I'm not sure I'll ever fill the hole she left. And Dad, it hurt him more than he let on. Plus, his research on Sam was illegal as hell. He was trying to save her, and maybe the initiative looked the other way, but the Alliance didn't. After they discharged him, whenever people found out I was his daughter, door slammed in my face. It really hurt. Being Alec Ryder's kids in the Milky Way, we were in for a lifetime of dreams that were never going to happen. Yep. Like my awesome dream to wear these cool headphones and a Blasto shirt. I thought maybe we could talk about mom and dad. We have what been constantly. Them? Thought you might want to know how dad died. I've been wondering. First planet we landed on. There was an atmosphere processor. It was malfunctioning. Dad managed to power it down. Saved us all. But there was an accident. My helmet broke. I couldn't breathe. And then Dad gave me his. He sacrificed himself. Yep. It was hard to tell with Dad. 
He could be so distant. I guess he loved us more than we knew. The Freudian the issues of fictional people. You and me both. This is a better way to remember him. Yeah. Do you miss mom? Or are you glad she's dead? You still think about mom? When I woke up, I forgot she was dead for a second. I looked around for her. Then I remembered. Dad talked about her before we left on our first mission. He didn't show it, but he never stopped thinking about her. He wasn't the same after she was gone. At least they're together now. In Helios Heaven. What do you Helios. remember about how they met? As mom tells it, he was doing his N7 training on Earth. She was a scientist working on biotic implants. He was trying real hard to pull off a bad boy in uniform thing. And failing. But she thought it was charming and struck up a conversation. And how was he failing? Grunted. She finally had to ask him out. Our dad, the ladies' man. Then he went off to fight the first contact war. When that was over, we were born, and Dad was posted to the Citadel as an attaché. Do you remember Mom's work? What do you remember about asking. Mom's biotic research? And Saren. That was back when biotic abilities were a total mystery. She was a pioneer, helping people cope by designing implants. It's what made her sick, though. People got all sorts of weird diseases from ESO exposure. We could have played the whole game as this exciting young woman. What do you remember about growing up on a citadel? Not that Arcus is super I exciting. A city filled with every kind of alien you could imagine. I remember trying to play hide and seek with some Hanar. It was no fair because they could float. Looking back, it's probably why I'm here. I saw how mind-bogglingly enormous the universe really is. It's awesome, King. Other questions about mom and dad. Other questions. That's all for now. Well, I should let you rest up. Yeah, only way to recover from a coma is getting more sleep. It won't be much longer. At least take some pictures of Meridian for me. I can pretend I was there. I can pretend that you chose female character at the beginning of the game. I'm gonna go talk to Tan and tell him what a douche nozzle he is. experience a cluster of fuck. This is a genus. I'm really annoyed now. I, th I think my, uh, my network is actually down, down. Oh, that's right. I'm doing the Ryder family secrets. And a minute of trying to remember what quest uh, this marker is actually pointing to. But we gotta go to Sam Node, where Sam physically resides, I guess. Writer, one of your father's we finally is find out that Sam is truly evil. Let's see it. The dark Writer, secrets of Sam are revealed. Layer of security. Well, then why did you call in here? What Garson said? The code word is Fulcrum. That worked. This is the last memory your father encrypted. From the final planning stages of Hyperion's departure. We're gonna get to see the elusive man. Oh, I hope, I hope, I hope. Castus, thanks for calling. Not a lot of people still admit to knowing me. I owe you. Those were good days on the Citadel, Alec. I checked with my son, Garrus. He works there now, CSEC. Oh, Garrus Senior, yeah. huh? He says the Council thinks Commander Shepard's story is bogus. Uh huh. But. Privately, I've heard the starting to wonder. This threat, they're called Reapers? Shepard's word for them. Something about a cycle, an extinction event that happens every 50,000 years, galaxy-wide. And supposedly the alarm clock's about to go off again. Unbelievable. I know. But according to Garrus, Shepard's as level-headed as they come. Takes after you. And it's seven. Well, I never met him, so... So, if the commander says these Reapers are coming... I don't want to be around to see them. Thanks, Castus. Take care. Yes? I checked around. There might be something. She's a very manly woman. If there is a war, oh. the 
ground what? for resources will be on a scale we've never seen before. The chaos will be monumental. We should accelerate. Oh, the face keeps changing. Gotcha. So we'll keep the reason quiet. No need to alarm anyone. But the arcs must be underway before any fighting starts. We can't get caught in the crossfire. Agreed. Don't get caught up in the crossfire. Years ago, you mentioned salvation. I didn't for think they would people. want to pay uh, what's his face, the yeah, actor who played Elusive coming. Man, just for one scene. Something was coming. In theory, Shepard made it real. And now that you're right, we'll need a new home. We're going to be all that's left of civilization. Sam. Yes, Pathfinder. Track down my kids. Tell them their old man needs to talk. It's urgent. And how is Ellen? She remains in stasis. As you hoped, it has suspended the progress of her disease. Make sure her pot is on the Hyperion. Don't use her real name. I'll tell the kids when the time is right. Oh, wow, Mom's alive. Crazy. Hey, or Sam, maybe. Transfer Pathfinder access. Encrypt memories. There's still hope for your mother. Okay, that's a okay. So I did not call that. That's a pretty big reveal. Mom is here, alive. Alec blocked all knowledge of this memory. I now recall his directive to put Ellen into stasis. He hoped it would halt further progress of her disease until a cure could be found. This is a basic news. He should have told us. Yeah, I'm just more Sam, shocked by the news. This is the best news I've heard in a long time. It is indeed cause for optimism. Although Alec did not want to raise hopes prematurely. This is the reason you were made Pathfinder. To see the process through. He couldn't trust Where's your sister. Here on the Hyperion. Ellen is in a stasis pod under a false name. Elizabeth Riley. Reavers? Now we know what GN Garson meant. That something big spooked the benefactor. It was these Reapers. What do you know about them? A Spectre operative in the what do you know about Sovereign's her flagship? ...launched an investigation in 2183 into the existence of an ancient race known as Reapers. According to Shepard's information, the Reapers invade the Milky Way every 50,000 years to destroy any advanced organic life. Allegedly, this cycle has been occurring for millions of years. Shepard claimed the Reapers' return was imminent. Is the Milky Way okay? That was over 600 years ago. Was Shepard right? Did the Reapers come back? Additional locks in your father's quarters have unlocked. Their implications are troubling. We better actually set up this colony. That you have this information, should anything happen to him. But why was Jean Garson murdered? Uh, Reapers Recall did it. Garson's words about the benefactor. Now they're moving a hundred thousand of us to Andromeda. I hope it's all for good, but I have my doubts. What does that mean? Who was, or is, the benefactor? Unknown. So this was Dad's plan? Alec could not live with the thought of Ellen recovering, only to discover you had died. He sacrificed himself to ensure you and Sarah could one day be reunited with your mother. But she's still got super she terminal disease. ...that what he knew about the Reapers and the benefactor remained secret. He entrusted you with this knowledge. Additional logs with pertinent information are now unlocked in Alex's quarters. So leave me alone. Got it. I need to go find Mom. Secrets. But first, I want to hear this. Uh... Your father's personal logs. We've just arrived in Andromeda. Before the rest of the Hyperion wakes up, I've checked our comms for any signals from the Milky Way. Looks like sometime in 2186, everything went to hell. We got out just ahead of it. Commander Shepard was right. So was our mysterious benefactor. Alec, this is Gian Garson. For the record, year 2185. It's about Fulcrum. I'm on the Nexus, and we're going into stasis for the voyage. Looks like you're already asleep. I'm very uncomfortable with our benefactor, and the fact that we still don't know who they are. All these lives in our hands. I should have done something sooner. Mm -hmm. The 
This is all very troubling, Malik. Let's talk as soon as you reach Andromeda. Jen, I got your message about Fulcrum. It's now 2819. We reached Andromeda, but have no sign of the Nexus. So there's no way for me to get you this message. Well, the Hyperion, okay, so, I mean, if you know the Mass Effect lore, then, yeah, the Benefactor, it seems to be Cerberus, I guess it could be somebody else, but the reason they're still hiding is basically they're, they might have done something to disable our ability to reach back to the Milky Way to communicate, because they don't want the Reapers to know that somebody got out of the system, although the entire game, Mass Effect Andromeda, with them going to the Andromeda Galaxy to set up a foothold for their species just exposed big old loophole in the mass effect original trilogy anyway with the reapers trying to protect all trying to prevent the the end of all organic life with this crazy plan but it involved them just like hovering around the milky way not dealing with any place else so this is Taliban command to all Turian units within range under catastrophic reaper attack primark fedorian is dead ground units are searching for the next in succession we'll advise when Everybody get down! Alliance personnel, please stand by for an emergency flash traffic message. This is a galaxy wide alert for all human territories. Fleet Admiral Stephen Hackett has declared threat condition Saber 1. And Saber 1. confirmed its soul system. Earth under Reaper attack. I say again, Reaper attack is underway. Instructions to follow on coded channel Crimson Tacit. The Queen. Hello, Alec. This is Liara Tassoni, and the year is 2186. I don't know if you'll even receive this message, but we corresponded years ago. I remember you spoke about a plan to settle Andromeda. I don't know if your arms made it out of the Milky Way, but the worst has happened here. And by sending you this I message, I'm endangering you all. Brave crew. We're trying to build a weapon to turn the tide. I fear that the civilization you remember, the people of the Milky Way as you knew them, could be gone forever. You may be all that's left. Please, don't forget us. Keep us alive in your hearts. And tell your children of the wonders that once were. Once you start allowed to start having children, of course. Normandy SR2. This is Dr. Liara Tassoni. Signing off. And endangering you by mentioning that you went to Andromeda in a correspondence that could be captured by the Reapers. Boy, everyone loves keeping secrets from everyone else in this world. coffee machine mom got for dad he was so busy designing you needed the caffeine you mean designing I you don't realize i owed my existence to a bean to and now you know bean. what humility feels like shut up seriously shut up i hate you so much <laughs> shut up shut up shut up anybody interested to talk to while we're here like this person was important to the plot very early on Writer. One of the Angaran delegates was here for a tour. A first contact already. Who'd have thought? They seemed nice. Of course, that's how diplomats are supposed to seem. Deep. Thanks for the talk. Sure thing. I really enjoyed it. It was wonderful catching up again. I am a robo shepherd. I mean, um... Not Shepard, whatever the fuck our name is. Ryder. I know you, Ryder. Alright, well, I gotta, uh... I gotta call it a video now, because we're 
Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to restart my router or something. This is annoying. I did do that the other day. It might be just dying on me. Um, although my uh, desktop thinks it has internet access, but no, it can't actually reach anything either. All right, so uh, next time, folks, we will do stuff, and it will be exciting. Uh, looks like whether I like it or not, I've triggered the uh, the next round of plot stuff. So. We will see, folks. We will see. I'm the Serious JG. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.